All right, boys and girls, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video of For Honor, and again, 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 we're gonna be talking about the Warmonger. Now, um, I saw the stream. Now, this is what I'm posting. Like, I saw the stream. I wanna go ahead and look at it and stuff. Like, it it was pretty good, and it was at the same time, it was like okay, but it wasn't that good. But I'm gonna tell you here why. So there's a lot of good parts to it. I like the weapons because the weapons look good. Um, and her armor, her armor is pretty pretty damn good too. Um, you know, it just brings like that knighthood type for the warmonger, and not just that, you could be like a what's it called like a good night or you could be like a bad night you know but that's kind of a, uh every other one but it's like this one's really different and i'll show you why later but the weapons they said it's not a zwyander they said it's a flamberg so i was like okay it's a flamberg all right and all that stuff so i was just like you know what i'm gonna let it slide because you know that's what you be said that's a flamberg it's not a zwine hander now one thing i hate because like right now we're showing is one of her abilities i forgot which one is i think it's the it's the first one i think whenever you get in that circle you're gonna get dead like you and your teammates are gonna get damaged if you're in that circle only you can be in that circle even many like if minions are even in there you're still gonna get damaged that's the crazy part about this her abilities like her feats make you like you have to be isolated it like she's basically like you gotta do 1v1 if you do if you try to do a 2v1 on me you basically go get killed easily she's like the anti-gang god right here and like the circle can go up to four people and that's basically a whole squad so if four people are in that circle and they each have their own circle too they're gonna their like health goes drains down so quick and it's not even funny now that's that's kind of the bad part that i hate because the character just shows the feet can make her really strong not her but the feet and there's the four feet go all together like I know there's like three different types of feet for like tier one tier two and all that but those four feet that they put on the stream all go together but not just that it is highly dangerous for any other character to go against like when I say highly dangerous, I mean highly dangerous. This is a whole danger zone right here. You don't want to mess with a warmonger at all, even if you want to go try to anti gank her. If if you're doing one on one, and you're getting put put in that circle, that's fine, because you're not gonna get damaged. But the only thing is, every time she hits you, she's gonna get health back. So that's that's i don't know about that that one's kind of overpowered like it does damage and next every time you hit him you get health and that's like with the different feet i think that's tier three um but no it it shows crazy bro so just seeing what warmonger's feats are it's so overpowered and i think i think personally I think everyone will say too. It, she has the strongest feats out of any other character, like out of the whole game, just right now. But um, no, like it's just crazy, like seeing Warmonger doing all this. So you know, only do one v ones against Warmongers. Two v ones or more, don't do it. Um, let's see. 
she is only female restricted. You can't be a man with this, sadly. Because I kind of wanted to be a male and play Warmonger. But you know what? To be honest, it's okay. I'll still play Warmonger. I'll still have fun with her and all that. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, I think Warmonger is going to be my main, personally. And all that stuff. Because, you know, she's strong. Her attacks go crazy and all that. Um, if I ever had a chance to show you guys clips of it, I would. It's just I gotta find ways how to, and plus it's PlayStation. I gotta, it's so hard to, bro. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the armor right now. So they added the legendary Apollyon as one of the armor sets. Now I think it looks crazy. I was so happy they brought in the Apollyon set because I could do something with that set. And next, um, right here they got the jousting set. And I think that one, I think the jousting set looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna cap about that. Um, let's see what else. They got right here. So this right here is important. So one set can show, um, regular and the other set has a cape and it has like an ornament on the head. So that's what they're gonna do with the change because they want to do on the shoulders and next like, also want to do in the head or something like that and next they're like you know what let's go add something that we can go ahead and change that so they had one side that had regular nothing the other side had like an ornament and a cape and all of that so you have the chance to enable it or disable it so I think that's a great customization and like she's all new to that you know what I mean like this all new right here and I think that's a, like a good way to like expand more on the customization because like um the next character because again the order of the Horikos is gonna have all the factions together and, and like the warmongers are the leaders so you know having the customization and all that that means we could have way cooler customization for samurai, for vikings, for the um, knights, and for the wulin inside that faction. So it's like, yeah. But, um, especially warmonger right now, but I can't wait to see the customization go way up there more. Um, let's see what else. Them bringing in like a Apollyon set. Like already made me happy. I was like, I'm ready for this Apollyon set. I'm gonna go crazy with it. But I'm not gonna wear a full Apollyon set. I might just do it on just something special. Or be like, I don't know, she's back. But, um. No, I'm gonna try to make my I'm gonna try my make my warmonger look beast mode, especially like how I did with my um what's it called my Rochi and my warden. My warden is like the best customized out of all of them, but I would say a Rochi second best customized. Um, no, nah, I'm gonna try to make my warmonger look like a beast out there, and they did say on the stream. Uh, Warmonger is going to be her own faction and people are going to be in there too and all that so it's crazy to see it but yeah um, let's see we talked about her armor we talked about her weapons and we talked about her feats um, what else is there to talk about be more restricted I'm trying to think of what else to talk about yo I don't know but you know she just go crazy she's like she's a good character overall um her backstory is nice I forgot I forgot how like the words of the backstory but I remember listening it I was like that looks beast that sounds good and you know um I think they said in the stream, but they didn't. And then, like, I'm gonna say anyways. It, if, if they said some about, um, like after Apollyon's death, they went into hiding, cause you know, 
uh, they're part of the Blackstone Legion, so like they went into hiding and then um, they just looked at their opponents like they looked at Orochi, they looked at Tiani, and they saw their fighting styles and next they just implemented it into their own and I know I'm just like beating the, the shit out of that uh, warmonger but you know that's how I play with Centurion inside this event I just do light punch and if I miss then I just start just doing way worse um but yeah I think that would be nice saying like they she studied or like the warmonger studied uh their opponents and their fighting styles and all that and they just put that inside their fighting style so i think that'll be nice and give it a reason on why they're reusing things and yeah so uh what else so it can make it a polyon like yeah we did not just copy it from polyon we copied it from our other foes, our other enemies, and then that's what made us stronger. That's what made us more powerful and all that stuff. So, yeah, I think that's my story. I think that's how it should have been, and it'll kind of give a good reason why they should have reused things. But again, I think I think Warmonger's still crazy. Either way, Warmonger still goes crazy. And uh, they showed one of the other executions. We already seen this at the leaked executions. And if y'all don't, go check out Toasty Rep 100 or uh, go check out the stream and go like near the part where uh, showing all the her attacks and stuff. And it's just like it looks nice, but like at the same time. And it makes it look like her weapon it's just a one-handed sword it doesn't make it like it doesn't make it look like it's a two-handed sword uh, sometimes but um what else nah I think that's uh basically it to be honest like I don't really know what else I could think of right now, but that's really what I wanted to go talk about with the warmonger and all her stuff. You know, I just I just thought it'd be a nice video to go ahead and talk about the warmonger, especially when it just came out. Well, not when it just came out, like when the video just came out and all that. Um. So another thing to talk about uh, about the stream was. They said another event's gonna come out, so I guess it's gonna be right after this event, and then they're gonna make another event, and let's have the um, what's it called? They're gonna have all new weapons for every hero, including herself, and you know I think it's gonna go crazy. So yeah, um the weapons look nice like all her warmonger sets and what's it called all those sets but yeah so uh i just want to put out real quick someone posted uh what's it called one of her attacks look like highlander's unblockable attacks i want to go ahead and check and he was using two hands instead of one hand so you know i was like all right uh, so yeah, this week we got a emote, and it's called Horko's Grimoire, Grimoire, I know I'm butchering that word, but I don't really care, but it's like two minutes long, so that's basically it for the video, uh, this is just showing the animations on what the Black Prior is doing, on how he's reading the book, cause there's a few animations in there, but it's nothing really that serious, but yeah i guess that's basically it you know uh i think that was a nice talk i know i was like stopping and next going and stopping going you know i was trying to think about what else uh i forgot or what else there is to talk about and i i personally feel like i know i forgot a couple things but 
uh, at the same time I think I got everything so um you know I just think that's just it yo but um with this emo cuz I'm gonna talk about this emo real quick cuz that book looked like a whole Bible right there like he looked like he reading about God or something on how to survive but yeah so that's everything that I think of Warmonger all her feats all her weapons all her armor and everything so for Warmonger I'll give her probably like a B plus but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Did like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.